Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Okay, so he basically kidnapped someone and held them against their will. He served 6.8 years of 7 years, so he's doing alright. Um, he did plead not guilty to it, but there we go. His mother has obviously forgiven him for his heinous crimes. Or his, his potential crimes. Where is Hackett? Hackett, dude, you, you, oh. Um, Hackett seems to be in a spot of trouble. What, what, what is he, he seems a bit twitchy, that fella. Did you see him running around? Sentence of six years for, <laughs> for rioting. Okay, he's also addicted to heroin. We've got a bit of a drug problem in this prison, haven't we? I'm thinking that maybe that ought to be one of the next things that we do, is deal with our drug problem. He's happy now. He's, he's much happier now. We've got showers over there, but we don't have any showers here. I am wondering if we should connect showers to this bit over here. Guards are not happy. They're, they're, they're just tired. But I've, I've gone and got a whole load of extra guards, so that should help that situation out quite nicely. Uh, yeah. That should help them. Let's go and have a look at our reports. We're still filled. So we're filled to 55. We've got five new prisoners coming in in the morning. Uh, Grant's in here. I've got nutrition research is underway. Crackdown on drugs. That's the one that we want. Find 10 illegal narcotics. No, that's not the one that we want. Reform through education. No. Carpentry, prison manufacturing, max sec infrastructure implementation. Well, Maxec is something that we want, but it's um, Supermax that we really want. As the Supermax is the one that I'm really after, but it's... Let me just have a look at needs a second. Uh, luxuries, literature, spirituality. Luxuries could be good, I suppose. Bit of hygiene. Hmm. They're actually alright, so it would appear that the shower block we've got over here is sufficient for their needs at the moment. We'll have to watch it. Where's the uh, regime in here? They come there, they got lock up, then they got shower time for an hour in the morning. Seems alright. That seems to be acceptable. We've got possibly things are a little bit tight over here in the canteen. I mean, it looks like they can all get in there and they can get through and do everything they need to do. Cooks are able to get in and out of here without any problem. I'm really liking our prison cells over here. What else do we want to do? Right. Reports. Back to our grants. Okay. Governmental security ratings. That would require building the dog patrol. So we're going to need the kennels and stuff like that. I don't really want to get that going yet. Because I, really, I haven't got anywhere to put it, have I? Unless I... Well. Unless I utilize some of this space. We could put the kennels up in there. And having the dogs... I mean, I thought that the dogs on the inside of the prison wasn't so good, but, I mean, really the armory is the only bit that I want to keep outside of the prison completely. The rest of it, I think, is all right, so we could use some of this space up here for dogs. I put a line down. Let's do that. All right. You have persuaded me, but we'll do that. Government security ratings. The government has certain requirements regarding security for prisons over a certain size and applies hefty fines to those who come up short. Sure, this doesn't become a problem. Assign two dog handlers to a dog patrol. Assign two armed guards to a patrol. Ooh. Armed guards means that we need an armory as well. Right, well, the armory we can build outside, can't we? Let's go... Uh, that one. So first up, we want to move that staff door over there so that that will keep running that one. And then we've got a staff door over there. Then I'm going to build a wall. Down here. There. Right. We will build the wall. Ooh, hang on. Wait, look. Right there, another notebook page. Player can click on any prisoner and punish them. Punishing a prisoner makes them less likely to try to escape for a while. Overly strong punishment makes them more violent. I thought that said silent for a minute. Uh, violent. Right, we, we, we don't want to make violent prisoners. I need that bit in there. But I just suddenly thought, we've got an issue. We don't have anywhere. We, we don't have a solitary block. We need solitary confinement. Have I got, what's my um, issues down here? Not that one. Regime needs take... Policy, that's the one that we want. Right. 
Attack staff, solitary, seriously injury, solitary, solitary, solitary. Lockdown for attack. Lockdown. Uh, destruction is also lockdown. Drugs is solitary. Tools is lockdown. I'm thinking solitary ought to be for most of them, didn't it? Up. Oh, murder in prison, they go to maximum security. Serious injury goes up by one security. Oh, I see. Right. Ah. I get how that works. Escape attempt. Didn't that ought to be solitary? Right, well, never mind about that. We're, so we're going to need a solitary block, which I kind of think needs to go... Well, that's the only space that we've got for it at the moment. I don't have anywhere else to put it unless I do it up there, but I wanted that space for the canteen. Solitary block does need to be kept separate. Hmm. All right, you've persuaded me. We'll do the solitary block, and then we will go back and do the other bit, because we need, we need that solitary block. We're going to go... Ooh, now, what can we, what, what can we do? We've, we've got the oriental walls, classic white walls, tiled, cushioned. What are the overall ones we've got? Classy, concrete perimeter. What happened to the old one? There, there was another one. There was another type of wall. I got a secret. I don't want a secret door. It's no good having secret doors in our solitary confinement cells. They'd be off all over the place. No, we had um, rusty walls as well, didn't we? We had like the, those old rusty thing. Where is it? It's not that. Flooring. We definitely had something else that's not there. Have they changed that? Is that oriental wall, glassy burgundy, cushioned, green, blue stripes. Uh, Utani goes great with cargo or solico floor. Perimeter wall, brick, concrete. There was a rusty type wall, wasn't there? There was a run-down wall that we could use before. And fences as well. There was the bamboo fence. Where's that gone? They vanished it. They've taken it away from... What's this? Uh, I have no idea what that does. Right, it would appear that we've had some alterations without me realising, and they've gone and taken away some of those beautiful, beautiful things that we were looking at and thinking that would look fabulous and um, and, and wonderful. We don't have them anymore. I'm a little bit disappointed with that, because it was the, the fence, wasn't it? That was the one that I said most of all. I changed that, didn't I? Yeah, I left it like that. Right, yeah, we've got... So you got the road barriers, you got these various different walls and stuff down here. Oh, Click the button to toggle. That's where it was before. It was like that. Uh, we had a bamboo fence, but that seems to have vanished. I don't know where my bamboo fence has gone. Unless I've got to unlock it, or it was temporary, or whoever. Who, who knows? Right. Uh, foundation. So I was, because I was kind of liking the idea of doing solitary with a big rusty wall all the way around. But that appears to no longer be an option. So we will do this out here. And I'll bring that one down. Ooh. Hang on a sec. How big is the solitary cell? That's only really tiny like that. So I want to... Uh, well, basically, I want to allow two squares for each solitary cell, don't I? So we go back onto the foundations. We're going to go with concrete. We will keep this one separate. So I'm bring that one out like that. And there is one solitary cell. And then I can add in one more. And there... And just keep going like this. So there's one. There's one. And there's one. And there's one. So there's a line. We'll, we'll, call, we'll call it that. I'm not going to go any more than that. I think that is sufficient. So there is the solitary block. They will start building that one. We've got this one up here, which was going to be kennels. I'm going to build a wall down here, and we'll put those in. So let's go down to that side and go K. Or kennel. Let's try K-E. Gut dog. Oh, my bad. I haven't unlocked the guards. Uh, body armor and... You know what? I'm going to do those. I'm going to do the dogs. I'm going to do body armor. Guard towers can wait. We'll unlock these here. That's six hours before the dogs are ready. 
All right, well, we'll leave that for a minute. What about the... Uh, uh, yeah, armory should be here already. We can go here, and I've got an armory here somewhere, haven't I? Do -do 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 -do. No, I don't. Well, that's a bit of a shame. We will go into rooms down over this way. Chapel armory. We need indoors, weapon rack, guard locker, and a small table. That's not very much. Right, I've got a storage zone there, but I don't have anything down in this one, so I think we will put the armory down here. It's going to be outside. It's going to be as far away from the actual prisoners as we can possibly get it. I think that would be the safest option for us. We will do this one. Ooh. Do we go for something fancy? I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with this Utani wall. That one looks pretty cool. So I'll bring that one out over to there. Right over as far as there. And put it there like that. I think that's pretty good. So we go with that one into there. And then what we will do inside is we will go... We've got cargo floor that we can do. Uh, we'll put the metal floor in that one. It's going to have the metal floor. This one over here... That's just going to be like a, a concrete floor. It's going to be a proper concrete floor in there. So we will go. We've got solitary door there. I'll go with a standard jail door there like that. On that side. Oh, wait a minute. i got a bad feeling about this. I think I need to move it down. Yeah. There's my bad feeling. Foundations. Don't install that jail door. Concrete building here. I want to actually drop that out by two more. That's got to go like... Wait, what? Give me that. Right, drop those two out there. And they should be able to come over and do it. We will rush that along now. And they can go in and do that. Super fast. Oh, I need to do the door as well. I bought the door for it. There, we'll drop that one in there. So they've now got an entrance in there. They've just gone in and installed the door as well goes out. How are you not finished? Oh, he has now. Okay. That door there will go just like that. This is now done, sort of. Is that done? It's a genuine job to tell if they've actually finished that bit or not. Right. Uh, now it's finished. I'm going to put concrete wall there, just down that side. I'm not going to worry about the top because we could do that with our quick build. We go into here and we go to solitary cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight solitary cells. That should be enough to maintain order with 55 prisoners. If it's not, then we can... We have got enough room that we can extend it out down here. I can just drop it down a little bit further, just down there. I want the Utani wall there and bring that one back over to that side and back up here as well. So we've got all this kind of like steel texture going on. It looks like it's... Uh, I, I know this is not actually a tougher wall. Or I would assume it's not a tougher wall. I'm looking in this. I don't think there's any difference between that wall and the other wall. I've got tiled, perimeter, white, barred... Yeah, we've definitely lost those other bits, haven't we? I find I'm somewhat disappointed by that. Right, flooring. We're going to go with a metal floor right the way across that one. There's going to be a grated floor in there. And then objects in... I see us just turn this into the right room to start with. I want to go armory like that. Because if I've got that classed as an armory when I go into here, it should highlight the bits that I want. Excellent. I love the way it does that. Right. Which way round is... Ah. There. I can see the weapons on the outside. I'm going to put one lot there. And then I'm going to put... Oh, no, wait a minute. Remove that one and put that lot of weapons there. Then bring them down like that. There. So there's our weapon racks. And guard lockers. We'll put some of these in. We'll put them along the bottom wall. There. All the way along like that. And I'm going to do another round of guard lockers as well. And you put them in like that. And then we've got to have a table as well, haven't we? Ooh. Do I go for a big table or a small table? Actually, I'm going to go for two tables. So you've got one table there and you've got one table... Oh, no, that's got to be a small table. 
that one will go over there. So then they've got room to get round the tables and they can see everything that's going on. They can sort of kit out and, uh, re you know, reload and clean all the guns and all that kind of nonsense. And they'll be very happy. I'm sure they'll be very, very happy doing it. So let's go there and there like that. And then I'm going to want some more lights along here as well. Where are we going to put those? I'll have to put them in the middle. Okay, there's lights. Next, we need the utilities connected. Electric cable. Pick that one up there like that. And then run it right out from that one there. So that's that connected up. Down over this side, we've got a pipe. Actually, no, the pipe is right over in there, isn't it? There it is. Right, large pipe. I'll bring that one over here and then extend it down this way. And from there, we can run a small pipe in under there like that. And that's that bit. And then all I need to do is go to here and go to lights. I'll put a light outside each solitary cell, but we're not going to put a light in the solitary cell. We'll leave them outside just like that. There. Uh, we now have a solitary block, although we don't have any functioning toilets in any of them, but that will happen. And then I can go here. Right, attack prisoner. I don't want that to be locked down. If attacked... Ooh. Right, you got locked down or you got solitary. So, escape attempt, that's definitely got to be solitary. You try and escape, that's definitely got to be solitary. Uh, lock down here to... Oh, I see. Right. So, how... All right. You bring that up and down. You've got destruction there. So, we can lock down... Destruction is locked down for two hours. Escape attempt. Lock down. Three. Attack a member of staff. Solitary for five hours. Serious injury. Let's drop that up to six. I'm basically just going to increase everything by two. Murder. <laughs> Doesn't the max security, but they only put them in solitary for four hours. I think, really, if you murder someone, you should be in solitary for at least 12 hours. Come on. Uh, running around with a weapon, we'll go three hours. Found tools is locked down for two hours. I got a lot of people here in solitary already. Drugs, solitary for two hours, found luxuries. They just have it taken away, don't they? Uh, attacked another prisoner. We'll do lockdown, but we'll do lockdown for three hours. And destruction can be locked down for three hours as well. Right, so we've just we've just increased the um, limits just a little bit. Now, I've still got low quantity each day. Inmate nutrition research. Serve a single load. I don't know how long it's been going for. Two days, it said. And then serve three for two days. So I'm not quite sure when that's going to catch up. Oh, uh, electric. Hang on. Utilities. I knew there was something missing. Ah, we'll bring that bad boy down there like that and run it in there. So then we've got that one. I think we should deploy. Deployment. I think I should assign a guard into here. And this room in here, we have got no guards assigned. So we will put four guards in there patrolling that little bit in there. The new visitation center needs a guard patrolling it. The kitchen does not, but the canteen could probably do with someone patrolling. We will have two guards permanently on duty out here. About anywhere else. Where else are we going to put guards? I've got the staff room. I've got the canteen. Staff canteen. And that's actually being used now. It's being used properly. We've got enough cooks to be able to go through the whole thing. Now, what else have we got? What, uh, what staff? I've got that as... That's already a staff-only area. It's a little bit difficult to make out what's the staff-only sometimes. And... This area here... I don't really want prisoners running around in here unless they've got to. I think it's uh, they, that can be all right. That can stay as it is. Right. How are we doing up this side? We have now got the dogs have been approved, which means I can go to here and we can get some of these. 
I thought that would have ticked off. Once I'd done the single low quantity, low variety meal, I thought that would have been ticked off. Oh, they're coming up to it now. Yeah, look. I mean, let's be honest. Considering they've got low variety, the fact that they're all eating bacon is pretty good. I don't think that's got, that, that's not too bad, really. You know, if, if you you have got a limit on what you're allowed to eat, but when the only food you're allowed to eat is bacon, there are worse things. There are definite... What's the tire stack for? Acts as a small wall which your prisoners will walk around. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on in here? Why are you all beating each other up? That's... That's not acceptable. You're not allowed to kill each other. I'm sure we have rules against that sort of thing. At least I thought we did. I was... I'm, I'm supposed to be doing the kennels. Right, uh, kennels right here. There we go. We've got dog bowl. We've got... Cra Ooh, that's new. Holds water and food for tired guard dogs. Increases the dog stamina by a small amount. Right, well, we'll put in some dog crates. I'm sure rounder they need to be. I don't actually know. Right, well, we'll put some dog crates along here. So it's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight dog crates along there. So we're going to put in some dog bowls as well. We'll put one in front of each of the kennels. Like that. They'll be very happy with that. We've got a thingy over there, which means that I need to put a door into there. What what door am I going to... That's just going to be a staff door, I think. I don't think it needs to be anything special in there. I will put a staff door over to this side. I haven't actually got anything that I want to put in there yet, but it'll do. And then I want a wall. Which will go with a brick wall. And that one can go straight down there like that and join that bit in. There is going to be the dog kennel. So I'm pretty sure that does actually... Uh, there we go. Kennel. Five by five, enclosed, and dog crate. Okay, there's not a great deal of requirements for a kennel, is there? So there, we've got that one. That one is all in place. I then need to get dog handlers and the rest of it. This still hasn't changed, which seems a little bit odd. But it's just got, it's come to one o'clock, so we've definitely been able to get that right. So I want to go to high on there. I want to change that one to high as well. Three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. Meal variety, high meal quantity. Yeah, that's right. It's thirty dollars a day per for per prisoner. It's rather expensive giving them that lot, isn't it? The other thing was two dog handlers to a dog patrol. Well, we're gonna do a dog patrol here, going around this entrance. That's definitely gonna happen. So we want to go to you. No, actually, I need to. I need to employ them first. That would be a good start. Oh, wait, what? Uh, assign two armed guards to a patrol. I can have up to ten armed guards. I can start off with just two because, quite frankly, those dudes are expensive. Dog hand. That's the one I want. These aren't that cheap. So how much? A standard guard is five hundred. Those are 500, but they cost a little bit more per day because of the whole dog handling expertise type thing. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So we've got four dogs and we've got the handlers as well. They don't need to be coming down to the armory. It's nothing to do with them. You stay away. You, you got your own jobs to do. Right. Patrol. Down here. Blue. Assign. Assign dog handlers. So what we do, I've got a blue patrol over here with a standard guard. I'm going to do another patrol this way, like that. And then I'm going to assign an armed guard onto that patrol there. Right, I've got one armed guard. He's going to waltz backwards and forwards up and down there. Then we're going to take a dog handler... Can I assign him on here as well? Oh, I see. He's just doing that little bit. Or is he doing the whole thing? All right. I've got all of the guards on here. Let's put a, let's put a dog handler out here as well. They should go. Are they, they going to go just up and down? Or are they going to go out this way as well? They go the whole th Oh, I see. 
So you can have them going around the whole route. Look at that. No, except this dude's just going up down here, whereas that one's going around the whole thing. That's weird. That's very weird. I don't know why. But I've got armed guards. I've got dogs. I've got everything outside here. So it's, it's just going to uh, kind of discourage anybody coming along and do anything daft. And I now need to set up another patrol, which is going to run down here. So I'll do... A long patrol all the way down there and then remove that so I've got those out the way. And then I'll assign one dog on that one and one dog on that one. So I've got three assigned dogs. I've got four dog guards out here. So all I need is a patrol with a dude with a gun. So where are we going to put that? Outside of solitary? I don't really know where to put the man with a gun. Because this, I mean, at the moment, we haven't got very high security prison, so we don't really need to worry too much about it. I suppose we could have one armed guard in the middle. Just there. Assign armed guard there. Like that. What is a magenta patrol? Colour patrol routes allow you to overlap and assign separate guards. And click and drag to get a magenta patrol route. Right click and drag to clear. Use assign guard buttons to add guards to a patrol route. Okay. Well, I've already done that, though. It kind of works with the blue ones. I got a lot of stuff going on here. He's volatile. Okay, it doesn't say anything on there. Grading. Estimated reoffending chance. I'm not quite sure about that. Right, we have now got a kennel. We've done that bit, and we've been given the extra bit of grant. The daily cash flow is not looking great at the moment, but that's fine. We will start working on getting some more prisoners in here. We've got plenty of guards assigned in there. We've got the armory. We've now got the canine units as well. Inmate nutrition research is underway. We are partway through the first day for the high variety stuff. Incident reports, one in solitary and one waiting, one in lockdown. That's all good. So next, we want to kind of think about either expanding the prison further or like doing the small things like getting a laundry up and running and stuff like that. I don't really... Well, I mean, our laundry would be good and we can assign prisoners to work in it as well, but I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, how are we doing for power? Power is fine. Uh, reports in here. Let's go back and have a look at the next grants that we've got available. Nutrition research. We've got crackdown on drugs, tool cleanup, cell block C, which we need to go up by another 50 prisoners. The criminally insane wing, which we could start that. Max sec infrastructure. There's a few other things. So that's the CCTVs and things like that. Acclimatization and engagement. So we've got to have kitchen, cleaning cupboard. Those are easy. But we've also got to build a laundry to be able to do that one. And then the education bit. We need classrooms and a few other bits as well. And we've got to build a patrol. Uh, a patrol? Uh, a parole office. We're going to need parole being taken care of. We might actually be able to use that one there for parole. Now, canteen, I'm thinking maybe go a bit bigger up here. It's whether we have minimum security and... Well, minimum and medium could mix and we could still have the uh, luxury cells for minimum. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.